Buenos dias a todos. My name is Joseph Munz and I'm the coordinator for international protocol at the university. Buenos dias. My name is Guillermo Lopez de la Cuesta, coordinator of Comillas International. We would like to welcome you to the presentation of the Universidad Pontificia Comillas, located in Madrid, Spain. The English translation of our university would be Comillas Pontifical University. Our plan for this virtual study abroad fair is to first offer you a presentation on exchange programs, and then my colleague Guillermo will speak about summer and semester study abroad opportunities. We will first give you a brief presentation on the university, where we will show you all the reasons why you should choose Comillas to study in Spain. Then we will explain what you can study at the university and how to register. Guillermo will present the study abroad programs, four week courses taught in Spanish or English, normally held in the summer from May to July. In case you still have any doubts, we'll let you know a couple of reasons why studying and living Madrid in Madrid is an opportunity you can't miss. The Universidad Pontificia Comillas or Comillas Pontifical University is a prestigious private university located in Madrid. It has a history of over 100 years in teaching and is very well known in Spain and abroad, usually placed in the rankings of universities among the top universities in Spain. The university is a Catholic university belonging to the network of Jesuit universities in the US. We have students of all religions and beliefs as we put the emphasis on quality in teaching and education. As we are an open university, we foment solidarity and social justice and a humanistic approach to education. So international students of all backgrounds, religions and beliefs are welcome to study with us. We have more than 13,000 students located on two main campuses in Madrid, plus a campus for nursing and physiotherapy located in a village outside of Madrid with an additional humanities campus in my, on the island of Mallorca. We have had an agreement with your university for many years now for what is called bilateral student exchange, which means that you apply to your international office to spend a semester or a year studying here with us in Madrid. With your university, this could be in any of the following areas, although you will have to check with your international office to see which areas are open for the upcoming semester or year. These areas could be business, law, humanities, engineering, nursing and physical therapy, and in some cases, other areas. So if you would like to spend time with us in Madrid and apply for an exchange, here are some things that you can do now. Check out our website, www.comillas.edu. Click on EN for English or ES for Spanish, Espanol, and then on Life on Campus and International Experience. After that, click on Incoming Students and you will find all of the information that you will need there. The application process is made through your international or your study abroad offices at your university, depending on the program that in which you would like to participate. So please inquire with your university concerning the current number of places available and the procedures to follow, application forms and other paperwork that you should do as your university will make the selection regarding the students accepted to study with us. Thank you very much, Joseph. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being here. My name is Guillermo, and as I told you before, I'm the coordinator of Comillas International courses. Comillas International is the department in charge of the study abroad programs. There are two ways to come to Comillas, either bilateral exchange program, as Joseph has explained to you, or with the study abroad courses. They're fee paying courses open to everyone. We offer Spanish and language courses specialized summer courses and as well tailor-made courses. All the information that I'm going to give you, you can be, it can be found in our website that you can see in the screen. 
First of all, the Spanish and language course is designed for students who have an intermediate level of Spanish and who wish to improve their language competence, as well as gain insight into Spanish culture. The objective of this course is to enable students to use the Spanish language properly in both written and spoken communication, as well to equip students with a wide cultural framework of the Spanish language. This course is 60 hours, for which students will earn six ECTS credits. The program will take place in our campus located in the center of Madrid from the 17th of May until the 11th of June. It's a four week program and classes will be held from Monday to Thursday. The cost of this course is 1,115 euros, which includes a student card that will give you access to the university facilities as can be gym, cafeteria, library, and computer inter internet facilities. A diploma is award open a completion of the course. Students receive a transcript with the grades, which may be submitted to your home university for possible validation of the course. All culture visits are included. The other, the other course that I was talking about is the specialized summer course. This is a specialized international course in the areas of business administration and management, law, engineering, marketing, human and social science, and international relations. To be eligible for enrollment, you must be enrolled at the university at the same level of studies to be able to benefit from the content of these courses. We're talking about mostly second, third, and fourth year students. There are seven independent courses that will be taught in Spanish or English. The first one could be business management, taught in Spanish and focus on students with a business administration and management background. European Union and international law taught in Spanish and focuses on students with a background in law, political science or international relations. Digital marketing and digital business is no previous, no, no, no previous knowledge is required. Any undergraduate students may enroll and this course will be taught only in English. Innovation of the four inter, uh, on the four industrial revolution in a globalized world. This is the other course only taught in English and as well, no previous knowledge is required. Management strategies is a course focused only for students enrolled in engineer and will be taught in Spanish. Marketing, public relations and protocol is taught in Spanish and focusing on students with a background in business administration and marketing. And the last one will be ethical values and human rights. No previous knowledge will be required and it will be taught only in Spanish. The course have a duration of 90 hours, 80 hours of class and 10 hours of technical and cultural visits and will obtain nine ECTS, ECTS credits. The classes will be from Monday to Thursday with a duration of four weeks due to the number of courses that they, uh, they, could to, they could take place in two different dates. The period one will be from the 24th of May until the 18th of June. The second period will be from the 20th of June until the 23rd of July. The cost of, the, of, this special, of these courses uh, will be 1,455 euros and uh, they will be, give you access to the same facilities as the other course I told you. They will give you a student card, access to gym, cafeteria, library, and you will obtain a diploma, a transcript with the grades, and cultural and, tech and technical visits. Well, and now Madrid. Why Madrid? <laughs> uh, first of all, Madrid is the capital of Spain. It's located nearly in the middle of the Spanish territory and gives you an easy access to all the Spanish cities with a great number of transportation alternatives. You can use 
a bus, a train, or even go uh, uh, with a car to any cities in, in Spain. From Madrid airport, you have direct flights to almost all European cities and the rest of the world. The airport is only 15 kilometers away from the center of Madrid, so you can, it's really easy to get to an airport. Well, the gastronomy of this city is endless. You can go from Mediterranean cuisine to tapas, and tapas is the way, is the best way to socialize uh, in the terrace of the city. You cannot miss it. Madrid has one of the most important museums in the world, Museo del Prado, with one of the most influential art, art galleries in the world. You may also visit another great museums, as the Reina Sofia, Thyssen, and many theaters, many expositions. You always have something to do. And the last, Madrid hosts two of the best soccer teams in the world, Real Madrid and Atletico de Madrid. As well, you can easily enjoy any other sports, as basketball, tennis, and more. Thank you very much for your time. Now would be the time for the question and answer section. As this is a pre-recorded session, we we'll leave you here or email and, and, uh, for any questions. As well, as Joseph told you, another way to solve your questions really easily would be your international students abroad office. Thank you very much. I hope to see you soon.